Hello, uh, this is Django development video tutorial number four. Uh, as we, uh, I, I don't know if you have read, uh, you have watched the video, previous videos. We talked about how to install Python 3.6 on Windows 10. We also show you how to do the Eclipse and PyDev install and configuration. So now uh, on the on the video segment number four, I'm going to talk about how to uh, configure, install a Django framework, and uh, also we will check, make sure the Django installs correctly. And we're going to start the Django project by using the command line uh, Django framework has provided us. Then the last thing is uh, we're going to basically install the, uh, the to uh, to uh, create it the working Django project based on the class uh, using Eclipse and PyDev because that's what we'll be doing the development uh, from as well. So that's why that'll be the last step. We want to show you that. Okay, so uh, let's start that first. And the first what we're going to do is to install the Django framework through the command line. Okay, as you can recall uh, on the tutorial video tutorial number one, we show you how to do this uh, in the command console here on the Windows command console. So this is what we're going to do. So the way I mean, we can uh, as well show you, this is how you make sure you have the Python installed configured correctly, right? Type Python and it, it, will sh it should show you this, right? So you can see, you know, we have the correct ones. We have the correct Python. And, and then you have the Python version, it, show, it shows you, okay? So, so this is correct. And then we'll, we'll, the command to install the uh, Python package is called pip. It's a Python package installation and management utility. So you do pip install and Django, this is the syntax, okay? Uh, I'll explain to you folks. So this tells the pip, say, hey, I want to install Django with the version 1.10.7. Now, if you do not want it, this particular version, you can type in however the version. I'm not sure all of them are, uh, when you type in, you know, the versions are there, but uh, uh, you can do that. Uh, if you want to just grab the latest version, that's what you do. Don't put it double equal sign behind it, just the package name. You'll see pip install the package name, in this case, Django. If, if I had to enter here, this is going to pull out the latest version. The latest version of Django is actually version 1.11 something. We're not using that. We're using 1.10.7, OK? So you do double equal 1.10.7, OK? Hit enter. This is going to install that. While it's installing it, I want to make sure, uh, I want to show you, uh, once it's installed, we're going to create a, a test Django project through the command line. And the purpose of that is to show you, you know, this, uh, this is how, if you want to do this by hand, right? So, and also I will use that opportunity to kind of give you a quick run of the, the Django project file structure so you can see where each of the directory what they do okay all right so we have that and uh, it's created now uh, if you want to see uh, if once it's created if you want to check if it actually works well this is what you do again it's the same as what I had before you do a Python right and so the way you want to verify the Django package is install correctly you want to in the Python environment, you want to import the Django. So you import the Django, right? And then you can basically type in Django dot capital version, okay, capital V E R S I O N, okay? And this will return you the version 1.10.7 final, okay? So that's how you check the, uh, you know, Django install correctly as well as the version. All right, so now we got this confirmed. 
let's move on to the next step. The next step we're going to do is start a Django project from command line. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Now, uh, the Django command line creating the Django project is based is actually the com uh, the utility gets installed on Django because we are installing the Django. It's called Django dash admin. So what we'll do is Django dash admin start project. Okay. So then assuming uh oh hold on a second let me get the uh, let me create a I have a I have pre created directory called test. So let's just go there so it's easy to clean up in in the future. Okay. So let me delete this. Let me delete the hello world. Oh, you know what? I'll just do this. So we we will create a, a, a Django project through the command line. So as I said, the Django utility create the the project skeleton. It's called Django stop project, and then we're gonna create a called demo project. Okay, okay, demo. So if I hit enter, it's gonna create a. Django project templates. Okay, It'll, so I'm going to show you what it will look like. So hit enter. So now I create it, and uh, you look at the directory. There's a it's a demo, right? So now what we're going to uh, let's look at the what the structure of the demo directory is. Okay, so I just learned this command. I think it's this s. No, just said okay. It's the f. Okay. So we will show demo. Let's look at the structure. Okay, now uh, let me make this bigger. So I created, remember I, I created the, a Django project called demo, right? This is the directory. In the test, there's a directory called demo, right? And the demo, the the Django start project utility create a Python file called manage.py. It also created a, a directory identical to the name of the project called demo. Inside of it, there's four files, Python files, setting, URL, WSGI, init.py. The real meaningful ones are this one and this one, okay? This WSGI is really for running uh, WSGI gateway, which is for production only. You don't have to worry about, at least uh, you know, in our class, we don't have to worry about this, okay? So this is how the structure laid it out when you create that template, okay? Now, uh, the, basically you, you kind of get a grasp as to what the basic layout, the uh, Django, project templates uh, you know skeleton is when you when you first you know use the command line we, what we're going to do next step is we're going to use uh, we're going to use the eclipse and pydev to do the same thing which is create the real working example of the jingle project okay so i'm going to start a, the eclipse and uh, the entire class is based on the book called Tango with Django. Uh, it is actually, if you Google it on the internet, you can, you will find it and uh, you can download it. And we're going to base on that because of the class name Tango with Django. So when I show you to use the Eclipse IDE, I will create a project called Tango with Django project. Okay. Uh, now, one thing in this, uh, when I was showing you this, you will notice a problem, right? In this, as I was kind of highlighted to you, the, 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 the directory, this demo project, it creates, when I create a project, the templates also created the, a, a folder underneath it with the same name. So because Django is a stretch of such a way, it actually evolves around the application. You have to, there's a command called create application, which actually creates a directory at the same level as this, 
just underneath of the project there will be a app one app two and blah 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 so it really gets confused because you how, how can you tell demo is an application or is it the only way you can tell is is the name i'm matching right so it wouldn't be a good thing really it's hard to to tell the differences so the way i do it it's not you have to as a good practice i always post fix the project name when i create it i pro post fix the name of the project with the word project that way when it creates it it says project and this also has a tail end it also says project so that way at least i can tell the difference between this directory and the, the subsequent directory which is applications okay and i'll show you that so uh in the eclipse right so the way you created uh, a jingle project is click on the file click on the new you come all the way over here click on the other all right from other as i said uh, in the class uh this gives you a collection of all the different uh, wizards and templates you can create, but we only care about PyDev, right? Because that's what we do. So if you go down, you will see PyDev. From PyDev, you open up, if it's like this, you open it up, you move down, you see this is the PyDev Django project. It's really the, you can see the little icon here, DJ, okay? So you click on this, that's what you want to use to create it. So click on the next and you're going to t type the name. I want to type the name Tango with Django dot project. So remember I said I like to, to basically when I create a, a Django project, I always post the fix with the, at the tail end with the project, the word project. The reason for that is because once it's created, I can just uh, differentiate the sub the subfolder under that uh, project template uh, from the application uh, subdirectory. Okay, because this the same name will be created underneath of it as well. Now here is is something you really need to make sure you 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 check this because we're using three six. Python 3.6. So the grammar version check is Python 3.6. Okay. Don't forget this because otherwise you'll get some errors on the checking of the grammar. Okay. And the next thing is the interpreter. If you can recall in the uh, video segment three, I said how to, you know, how do you set up this correctly? Is I already did that. So, but you know, from here, it I have set up uh, Python three six. Okay, three. So, but if you want to make sure this is Python three six, uh, you you do is click this link here. Okay, uh, let me blow up this. So to valid uh, to make sure double check this is correct the Python three six, you click on this one. Okay, the link here. So I click here. This will show me. Okay, see it's the Python is and that's the three six right. And this is the version is correct all these other libraries you know so this is a correct setting i want to make sure okay so i let me pick python and then you click next okay there's nothing else you need to touch on here these are the two things three six and python the correct python interpreter nothing you need to do because we're not using other project for this you know for this project when not reference other projects so you don't need to click on uh, check anything here just leave it all unchecked go to next this is important so uh you want to tell the pydev what version of django you'll be using so we're using 1.10 so it really should be 1.4 or later right so you want to check this it's important now this piece is related to the database uh, we don't use other data uh, external database we will be using SQL Lite 3 okay uh, that's building into Python so we don't have to worry about uh, you know what are the external library or connection strings if you have a external database you would be setting up here okay but we don't we don't we use the building library so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, just leave as it is so click on finish 
All right, so now the structure, the template's created very much like we have here. If you look at this piece, right, we did on the demo, use the command line. This is the same thing. You see, uh, you have a directory which with the name identical to the project, right? Uh, so underneath of it, I have three, four files in it, setting, URL, and this is the same thing here, right? Okay. And then uh, you have a manage the pie. The only difference is actually here, the projects are, are picked up or set, or uh, inf the information is about it has the information about the, your uh, which Python interpreter you're using. Okay, this is really not a file so much as to basically tells you this project uses what uh, Python interpreter. Okay, it only pertains to this project, right? Uh, versus this, there is no development environment. That's why it doesn't have that information. Now, I want to talk about this, okay? Because in the class, we had a number of issues to start Django project. So let me show you, okay? Uh, in case you're wondering, these information, meaning what the interpreter is, uh, how the Python, uh, I'm sorry, High dev and Eclipse knows what these information are. It turns out it actually stores in a, and in two files. So let me show you. So the entire project what we just created is in the Eclipse workspace, right? So if you go to the Eclipse workspace, it's my username Eclipse workspace, Tango is Django project, which is this, right? If I open it up, there's two files with starts with that project. It's a hidden file that PyDev project. Okay, these are the project property files for this project. Okay, uh, we will look this in a uh, in the next segment because uh, uh, in the class, a lot of people and including myself actually had a problem to get the project running, and uh, I did some investigation and it turns out it actually has something to do with this. The for whatever reason the. Uh, Eclipse and PyDev is not updating the property correctly, okay? We will talk about in the next video. But for now, we'll just leave this. But I just keep in mind the property of the project is being uh, stored in these two hidden folder, uh, a hidden file, okay? So anyway, now we got this all working, uh, all c configured. The way you, by now it's all good, but just to double check, the way you do this is you highlight the, the project, click on the right button, all the way down here you will see the property, okay? And uh, from the property you can click to, t it tells you, see the interpreters, the grammar, py Python, right? And uh, just in case the Ill when you created this, at the time when you created these was not set correctly, you can correct from here too, okay? So that's what this, and the other one is the Django. It knows it uses the manage.py as its run, uh, running module, okay? We'll talk about later on this. But anyway, that's how you verify this. So once you've done this, it's all set up correctly. Now, we're gonna start this, uh, this Django framework server. So to, as a last step to validating, make sure it works, okay? So I click on the right button. You see the run as. If everything goes well, you will see an icon called PyDev. You want to run as PyDev Django. Okay, run PyDev as Django. So you click on this. It will start. Okay, it says starting the development server at this location. Right? So we can check the result of it. So. All right, if I check this, there you go, it worked. So that's uh, basically it, the last step, validating, make sure your Django installed correctly and uh, you creating a Django project skeleton and run it and it's working correctly, okay? So the next video segment, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna add our own uh, tech, uh, 
web pages to this blank template so we can build the website. So see you in the next segment. Thank you for watching. Bye.